Okay, that's right. Thank 
good evening all good evening ma'am good evening good evening madam yes very good evening uh, so let me um, share my presentation one second Okay, uh, is the slide visible? Yes, no, it's visible. It's visible. Oh, that's good. Okay. So let's start. <clears throat> Fine. Uh, so, today, uh, so today we have now come down to the last session of uh, operations management. So as of now, as far now, like uh, we have seen uh, what is operations management, the definition and its scope. And uh, uh, we, we have now like discussed about the points in uh, managing the overall operations of the organization or concentrating on one particular operations or one particular you know, like project on a, or an event or a process in an organization. So whatever it is, the, the overall operations of principles and you know, like few techniques, you no. Know, uh, it applies evenly. So whether uh, you want to manage a particular project, a single project, or you no, know, like manage uh, a couple of projects, or while you're working on you no, know, like few workflows or a process flow, whether it's you no know, like production or procurement or whatever, or uh, if you are you not know, like working on the overall operations, you know, the overall organization's operations, and if you want to you know like do some changes or you no know, like uh, you want to you know like bring something you no know, like different from the previous one okay so improve the quality and everything minimize the waste so you have to follow few techniques suggested by you no know, the best uh, uh, scholars so we have been seeing uh, the techniques you no know, like uh, formulated and you no know, like um, uh, donated to the operations industry that is the overall supply chain industry or the overall you no know, like any industry for that matter so uh, you no, know, like uh, it was you no, know, like uh, donated or you no, know, like formulated and you no, know, like given as a suggestion by uh, the scholars or the you no, know, like uh, top engineers. Sometimes you no, know, like operational workers, you no, know, like uh, some operational workers in the Toyota production system. So they have come up with you no, know, like few techniques. So we were seeing about that. So we are going to see the remaining techniques. Um, few of this are again suggested by the. Uh, people, the operational workers or the engineers uh, in Toyota production system TPS and few are you no know, like uh, formulated and you no know, like offered by other, uh, you know, like other scholars. So we stopped, I think you no know, like last session we stopped in this SOCO circles. There is no like quality circles. So SOCO circles are nothing but you no know, the group of operational employees or you no know, like a group of a departmental employees so they join hands together. You no, know, they form as a group. They are called as quality circle. That is quality group. So what these people do? First, they have to know, like, if, if there are you no, know, like, fifty uh, employees or fifty workers in a particular unit, say a production unit or processing unit or a particular department. So at least five or two ten uh, employees out of fifty have to volunteer themselves for this, uh, no, like to become a member of the SOCO circle, a quality group. So what these uh, members do is, so once in a week or once in a month, uh, they meet together, okay, though they have a meeting and they, you know, like uh, come together, discuss about, you no, know, like what they have, you no, know, like performed as of now in the unit, in the production location or in the processing unit or, you no, know, like in the, you no, know, like factory, flow, whatever. So uh, there'll be you no know, like uh, discussing things about you no know, like how they have improved from the previous uh, work process. Was there any improvement or uh, still they have to improve a lot? What are the difficulties uh, faced by the other workers you know, in that location facility? And uh, what things have to be implemented? And um, what things, you no know, what processes or you no know, like what uh, things has to be you no know, like eliminated? And if a particular worker or an employee meets any, uh, no, like any uh, 
uh, training or uh, uh, that person has to be, you know, like uh, uh, should have an, any skill set. So how that can be done? So these things would be discussed by these people. Uh, usually what happens, you know, in most of the cases, you no, know, like take uh, uh, IT companies or you no, know, like other companies, uh, if there is a training required for a group of employees or for a team, so that would be decided by the departmental heads, the managers, and uh, these managers would get a permission, you no, know, they would get suggestion from the top management and on the top management's approval, these departmental heads will you no, know, like go on with the training process. They choose the uh, employee or a worker, whoever they want to train, they form them as a group and they will be called for training. So even the assessment or the you no know, appraisal um, factor, so all these things, the departmental heads would be decided. So they would be performing all these activities. But you no, know, like in SOCO circles, that is in quality circles, so departmental heads, you no, know, like nothing have to do with the operational workers. So it is the, you know, the volunteer, uh, uh, you know, like uh, the volunteer involvement of these, you know, like operational workers to form us a group, few of them to form us a group and come up with, you know, like all the uh, plus and minus, all the positive and negatives, you know, like they are facing or they are experiencing in that production unit. So uh, what they do is, you no know, like once they come into a suggestion, once they have, you no know, like come to a, uh, you know, like solution for a particular problem. So that would be intimated to the top management without the interference of the uh, middle level management. So that the you know, like information can be passed. So they don't have to get the approval, but information can be passed to the departmental heads, but the approval has to come from the top management. So once the top management approves it, they will now execute the plan. So this is like you no know, an employee doing a self-analysis by himself or herself, on himself or herself, and you no, know, like doing a self analysis, you no, know, like about uh, on his colleague or her colleague, and you no, know, like giving the suggestions. So, this is how okay. you no, know, it is done. So, how this will make improvement, you no, know, like how this will you no, know, like um, uh, give some changes, you no, know, come up with you no, know, like the changes in the uh, this um, the work uh, environment is. So they would, it will you know like um, uh, reduce the tension, you know, like that. There would be you no know, like kind of a fear or tension while speaking with the persons, you no, know, uh, who is above you, uh, in the you know like uh, professional hierarchy. So you sometimes you don't feel like you no know, opening up to them that uh, you no know, like you need this particular skill set and you need a proper training for that. So you'll not be open. Uh, so in that this in this case, you no, know, like in so-called circles or quality circles case. So any operational worker or an employee, so don't have to know worry about doesn't have no any mental tension of discussing about his or her own minus and pluses. So that's a, a, a very important point. And the rate of rejection. So in many cases, you no, know, like um, uh, the rejection may happen to an employee or a worker, whether it's for uh, uh, you no know, like taking a um, uh, taking a leave that is you no know, like applying for a leave. Or you no, know, like asking for increase in the wages or salary. So sometimes, you no, know, the worker may you no know, face some rejections. So in this case, since you no, know, there there is no need for the departmental heads to you know, like to give permission for these things. So these people can directly you know, like get help from the or get you no know, the ideas or you no know, get uh, permissions from the top management. So the interference of the middle level managers or the departmental heads, you no, know, it's reduced here. So all they need is you no know, like a key information of what is happening in the operational level side. And you no, know, like they solve the work related challenges and problems by themselves. So they are not disturbing any other uh, people or any other employee, any other level of management in the organization. So that is the best part of the of these SOCO circles. So this is a process. First organization, that is you no know, like initially. Few employees, few workers have to among the group, among the team has to volunteer themselves you know, for becoming a member of this SOCO circle, quality circle. So once that is done, so each one has to be trained or you no, know, like uh, given an idea of you no, know, like how to go with this uh, uh, quality thing. So what things has to be you no, know, like uh, uh, discussed and what not to be discussed and uh, all those things you no, know, like would be you no know, like uh, 
uh, I mean, the roles and responsibilities and everything, you no, know, will be you no know, like delegated and you no know, like communicated with all the members, you no, know, whoever is in the quality circle. And uh, when they are facing any problem, they would identify the problem. So they would identify whether the problem has arised because you no, know, like of one particular uh, machinery or uh, of a machine or you no, know, because of the product or it is because of you no, know, like the employee and. Um, or it is because of you no know, any other you no know, like external factors or any reason you no know, like for quality of the product whatever it is so they will you know first identify the problem and once the problem has been identified they will you not know, do so, do an analysis how can they rectify the problem that is how can they find the solution to the problem so once that is done they you know like they they, they get you no know, take that solution to that particular machine or you no know, that but that particular employee or whatever they do apply the solution and no like present it. That is no implementation and monitor the process. So this is the quality circle process. Usually, as discussed, this is done by the departmental heads in most of the organizations. But as per the TPS suggestion, Toyota Production System suggestion, so they are no like asking the organization to empower their operational level employees to do these process on their own. So that you no, know, the employees feel you no know, like uh, have a good feeling about the organization. They get you no know, like more committed to their work environment. Okay, then there's six sigma. Six sigma is not from TPS, of course. So this was formulated and you no know, like um, suggested by an American engineer, Bill Smith. So he was an engineer in you no know, like Motorola. So he suggested this uh, six sigma strategy. So what is six sigma? So you no, know, like uh, it uh, that this strategy you no, know, like tries to improve the manufacturing, not especially manufacturing, but any work plus work process, okay, quality by identifying and removing the causes of defects and minimizing variability in manufacturing and business processes. So the main concept here is identifying and removing the causes of so wherever defects is happening. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, guys, you, uh, few of you have been muted your audio. Lenovo, okay. Okay. Uh, whoever has no like joined in the name of Lenovo, please mute your audio. And I can't do this from this side. I don't know why. Fine. I'm host can do. Okay, fine. But now, like, I'm, I'm not finding that option here. Yes, but I'm not finding that option here. Okay. Fine. Uh, let's continue. Okay, fine. Okay, so that's what those Six Sigma is all about. So it's all about identifying the defects. So you no, know, like identify wherever the defects are happening and minimize the variability. So uh, variability, you know, like it's accepted. For example, in few agile projects, variability is accepted. So you have to keep on adapting to the changes. You no, know? like in those cases, variables, changing factors, you no, know, like changing trends, environments, or whatever. You no, know, like that is accepted. But uh, in you no know, like many cases, you no know, like the organizations follow a rigid principle of you no know, like uh, going on with the uh, single process. So without you no know, like uh, adapting to you no know, like something you no know, like they don't want to stop the process in between you no know, like and they don't want to you no know, go something you no know, like which is happening in the external environment. So in those cases, you no know, like um, uh, you have to you know minimize the variability and you no know, like. Uh, this is applied. This is up. This applies no not only for no production company, not only for a manufacturing company, but this applies for any business processes. So how this is done by using empirical and statistical quality management. So and no by uh, hiring people who serve as Six Sigma experts. So there are Six Sigma uh, experts. That is, you no know, like if you want to become a Six Sigma expert, you have to know like you have a crash course or you have a course for that. You have to know like do that course and you can be a Six Sigma expert. There are you no know, like various levels in the Six Sigma certification. 
so if you are no like if you are having that certification the organization can no like take you into their system and they can make you to work in one a uh, in their uh, no like any of their unique project or a particular project where they want you to no like help in the team in identifying any defects and no like minimizing the variables no like that is also possible and each six sigma project follows a defined methodology and has specific value mm -hmm. targets so here uh adapting to the changes no like um, or no accepting the variables no like it's not happening here they are not sticking on to a defined methodology so agile is not happening here so sticking to the defined methodology so they have already that they have set a specific value target so they have to work on that so there is going to be no deviation from the main line so such as you no know, like reducing pollution and increasing customer satisfaction so these two are the examples you no know, like but it applies for anything so this term six sigma originates from statistical quality control reference to the fraction of a normal curve so usually we write sigma you no know, like in this uh, uh, inverted six kind of not an inverted mm -hmm. six but mm -hmm. a filter mm -hmm. Um, can the coordinator uh, mute this person? Somebody has joined in the name of no, like Lenovo. They haven't given their uh, original name. If the because I'm get I'm not getting a no, like um, a chance. I mean, a choice to no, like mute this participant. Lenovo in the name of Lenovo. We have to no, like mute this person. If the coordinate coordinator can do this, it would be great. <clears throat> okay, fine. So let's continue. Okay, so six sigma, though it's called six sigma, so there are no like five processes, five stages in the six sigma. That's called as D mic cycle. D stands for define. M stands for measure. A stands for analyzing and I stands for improving and C stands for control. So define. So define the problem. So once you have analyzed the problem, you have identified the problem, define the problem. So what is the problem? Then go for measure. No, like measure the problem. That is no like how much it has an effect in the process, effect in the business, how much it will no like affect the end result. So effect and affect. So identify this no and no like measure this how much affect how much effect and analyze analyze the problem that is analyze the actual cause of the problem so for example if an uh, employee is no like uh, frequently taking leaves okay like uh, uh, frequently being absent so that employee is not regular and because of uh, his absenteeism the workflow the work process no like that's getting disturbed Actually, a particular project has to be done by a team of five members and this employee belongs to that five member team. But because of his frequent absenteeism, no, like things are not happening, no, like as planned. So in that case, no, like instead of no, like directly going and warning the employee or no, like um, transferring the employee from no to another department or to another uh, uh, facility or no, like laying off the employee. So First, you have to know, like, ask the employee what's the problem. So, if that problem can be solved by the, uh, you know, organization. For example, the employee may be, you know, like, uh, facing difficulty in working in a, like, very cold environment. Because of, you no know, like, that high AC and temperature, you no know, like, this employee may be getting, you no know, like, frequently affected by this, you no know, like, cold temperature. And because of that, he'll be, you no know, like, frequently feeling ill. And that may be the reason. So in that case, no, the problem is not with the employee, but with the AC unit, no, in the uh, organization. So something has to be done there, right? So this is how, no, you have to do. Uh, so like uh, analyze the problem. So identify the actual cause. So if you find the actual cause, there will be no need for, no, like um, uh, taking wrong decisions. And then improve, implement and verify the solution. So in this case, what solution can we find? That is far that can be you no know, like found. So either you no know, like uh, you can you no know, like um, ask other team members to uh, you no know, have a controlled temperature, uh, not too much freezing temperature, but to have a controlled temperature in the 
uh, in the location no, where they are working on the project or you can know like shift the uh, you know if that employee is no like uh, important member in the team you can know like shift the location no from that that from that uh, you no know, like zone to another zone in the organization that can also be done so in this way you no know, like try to you know like um, retain the employees you no know, like try to you know like empower them and make things happen so implement and verify the solution and finally control maintain the solution so make sure the employee is not getting affected by the ac unit and no like uh, you can so that no employee can be can no like continuously come to the uh, organization on a daily basis no there is no frequent absenteeism but in this case uh, the employee is no like frequently absent no like because of other reasons no like he may be a frivolous person he may be a lazy person or uh, he may be a very irresponsible person so he take things for no like granted and he is not so serious is not committed to his work not committed to the you no know, like organization so in these cases you no know, like the company can decide you no know, like what measures can be taken so first you have to identify the real cause of the problem okay so uh, seeing about the bells the various levels you no know, of the six sigma certification as i you know like i have you no know, like uh, discussed even no like any individual not only the organization the any individual can get a six sigma certification so there are no like there is a levels no like if you get a white belt it means no uh, you are no like um, you can you know the concept that is no you know the uh, you know what is six sigma you have knowledge of no what is six sigma and you can work with the problem solving teams so this team is again working under no like another green belt uh, manager or a black belt manager or a black belt leader so under this black belt or green belt manager or leader this team is working so you can be a part of the team if you have a white belt that is you know what is six sigma and how to apply that strategy and yellow belt so yellow belt they participate as a project team member so not only team but a project team member so you are involved in a project you are now appointed as a member in a project team and reviews process movements you can suggest your no like uh, uh, ideas you can no like uh, ask them to no like uh, uh, consider few things so you can give your suggestions so you can go with that and green belt is something no like uh, assist with data collection and analysis for black belt projects so there are no the levels of projects as well so black belt project no requires um, at most uh, you know like the precise results so there shouldn't be no like any errors no like at the end so no error is no like accepted at all so when you go for yellow belt or green belt no like 0.2 or 0.3% error is acceptable but when you're going for a black belt project it means there is no error no like no error is accepted so it should be no like if this is planned it has to happen on that particular date on that particular uh, uh, time and with that particular uh, number of employees and no with that particular resource and everything so it's a rigid plan there is no change at all so this is no like green belt so you can assist no with data collection so you are eligible to collect data do some research related to the project and you can know like you are eligible to do some analysis and publish the results suggest the results to the black belt projects or black belt managers whoever is leading the project and then comes see the black belt so leads problem solving project so here you can be a, a team leader or no like become a manager or become a leader of a team so you are leading that team so trains and coaches project team so you will be coaching and no training the project teams so here this six sigma it doesn't apply only for production as i said this is not only for production but for any business processes this is applicable so no like if you are into no like uh, say for example you are into corporate training so you can have a six sigma certification you can no like in this case if you are not getting a black belt if you know like black belt you can no like formulate you can design the training program by yourself and you can know like um, train the project trees you know like whether it's a process training or project training whatever it is or a language thing whatever it is you know like you can actually you know like design the program design the instruction design the course you know like what you want to you know like train 
uh, the your no like your employees so this is black belt and you have mastered black belt uh, not many companies no like have this mastered black belt no like very few organizations no like ask for mastered black belt but if you are holding a black belt no like it means you are the leader uh, you are no like eligible to work in no like any projects you are eligible to lead any team okay so master black belt trains and coaches black belts and green belts functions at the six sigma program level so other than this you have one more thing which is called as brown belt uh, so traditionally this is not no like one of the certification in uh, six sigma but no like uh, when i researched few um, uh, you know like few resources said and uh, now six sigma has come up with you no know, like brown belt as well so what brown belt means here is uh, you know like uh, some organizations may classify a brown belt as a person who has their green belt and has passed the black belt certification exam but hasn't completed a second six sigma project so they have done only the first project or dealt with only one project it means they have master belt they have green belt certification they have but they haven't no like completed a six sigma project so like no without any no like a good experience uh, those people know who have only the certification of green belt and black belt so they come under brown belt so this is what all six sigma is all about. okay so now we are coming to lean manufacturing okay now we are coming to lean manufacturing which is again a uh no like a strategy developed and formulated by tps toyota production system so uh, an engineer production engineer in uh, tps uh osahi uh, i think his name is mr osahi okay so he has no like come with no like uh, this uh, lean strategy lean techniques so the only uh, you know the the only um, concept of lean manufacturing or lean process or lean strategy is minimize the waste so wherever wastages are happening or supposed to happen or can happen you have to minimize the wastages then and there so where the wastages can happen usually when we say about wastages we always think about no like tangible waste which can be seen which can be you no know, like uh, uh, you know like uh, which can be you no know, like uh, uh uh seen and that can be felt okay so tangible waste the paper waste and you no know, like while for in the packaging industry if you say you no know, like there are many package pack, packing materials gets wasted and in manufacturing facility you can see you no know, like many scraps you no know, like they come out of the uh this raw materials and you not know, the final products you no know, the scraps are being removed so that is the waste again and uh, during the transportation you no know, like a uh, few products you no know, gets damaged and it gets wasted because of you no know, like the stowage or you no know, the way the things i mean the way the products have been you no know, like stacked in the transportation um vehicle and uh, the wastages can happen in warehouses because you no know, when uh, the employees and the workers and the employees don't have an idea about how to handle the products you no know, like in a proper way they don't have don't they don't know how to handle the products in a proper way so they they will know like damage the products so things gets damaged the products get damaged and no like wastages can happen in um, so these kind of no like tangible waste we all know we all very well know but there are no like intangible wastes as well intangible wastes here no like refers to the time energy skills so time is no like intangible it cannot be no like touched and felt it can only be experienced so whenever an unskilled employee is no like made to work in a pro no like a project or a process no which requires no like a particular skill set but that an employee is not enough you no know, like not skilled enough so there is no like wastage of money wastage of energy and wastage of time because you have to train the employee properly then you have to know like make the employee work in that project so that is an every stage of no like all these three factors so you have to avoid these waste as aspect well. so waste stages no like happens in over production of the product it can no like happens because of defects in the product it can happen in the inventory it can happen in transportation 
uh, time is getting wasted, no, like when, when, when there is no, like uh, waiting time is more. That is, you have no informed the, it, take an example of, no, like this um, just-in-time concept. So the vendors, the suppliers are supposed to supply the materials to the production location uh, just before the production has started. But now that now now the product is not stuck up somewhere in the traffic, or uh, the vendor has no like not supplied the product on time. So only if the vendor supplies the product, no, the production. <laughs> So because of this, what happens? The production is no like uh, there is a wastage of time. No unwantedly, no the employees, the machinery, and all the other resources. No, they have to wait till the product reaches the location. So wastages will happen in waiting. Wastages happens in motion. While no like shifting the products. No like transferring the products from one location to another location. So wastages can happen. And then inadequate instruments and methods. If there is no like proper required instruments or machineries available, again, no, there is a wastage in time. And then wastage in defects. So other than this, intangible wastes are also there, like our time is already discussed. So wastage in energy. So wastage in energy, you no, know, like uh, it happens when an uh, uh, when an employee is you no know, like uh, asked to do a work. Which in which no like he or she is not no like uh, skillful enough. So like that worker no does hard work, but there is no smart work happening there. So hard work consumes time. So hard work consumes that employee's energy. So no like energy is also getting wasted. And no like uh, wastage of skills. Skills no like a particular employee or a worker may be skilled in one aspect. But you're making that employee to work in another process where no like um, that skill no that which the employee possesses no it's not at all used there. So in that case no like the employee skill no that is also getting wasted. So anywhere in this process the overall process wastage can happen. So the engineer is suggesting that try to minimize money might not not trying no like give your best to minimize reduce these wastages. So and no like so that no the process saves no the overall process saves a lot of time and lot of money and lot of no like energy yes. So obviously what happens is you give a quality product uh, within the right time no to the right customer. So this is the overall philosophy. So this is the most important concept of Toyota production system. It's a management philosophy focusing on reduction of the seven wastes to improve overall customer value. Okay, so what are the three principles? Full processing, full processing we, we have already discussed, that is no like uh, your uh, first uh, making the customers, inducing the customers to place the order, then based on the number of orders, then you are starting the manufacturing process. So that is the full strategy. Full strategy is nothing but make to order, MTO strategy make to order strategy where you're making the customer to first order your product and based on the number of products ordered so now you have no now now you know now what is the demand of that product and then you are not like manufacturing the required number of products and not like sending it delivering it to the employees so lean manufacturing or lean workflow no like suggest the full processing that is the full strategy and perfect first, that is stand quality for zero defects. It obviously gives way to zero defects, which reveals and solve problems at the source level itself. So waste minimization is happening. So eliminating all activities that do not add value. So all the activities, no, eliminate every each and every activity which does not add any value to the product. And safety nets maximize use of scarce resources. Continuous improvement, reducing cost, improving quality, increasing productivity and information share. So no, this is this has to be done as a whole team. So this is not the responsibility only of the operational workers. This is not the responsibility which is no like taken by only the departmental heads or no their subordinates. 
this is done by lean strategy has to be followed by each and every employee in the organization from the top management to the uh, operational level management whether it's a ceo of the company or just a cleaning uh, no like a uh, 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 cleaning employee you no know, like the cleaners you no know, in the company whoever it is you no know, they have to stick on to, to this lean principles they have to follow the lean strategy so that you no know, like everything you no know, wherever the wastages can happen you no know, that can be minimized to the maximum level sustainability works out here okay so other than that you no know, like uh, there is more um, flexibility that is you no know, producing different mixes or great diversity of products so you have you no know, ample time so that you can you no know, work out on something else building and maintaining long relationship with suppliers standard worksheets leave little room for defects egos have no place in the work area since it is a team effort so egos have no work so because no one is directing anyone uh there is no need for the top management to direct uh, the departmental head departmental heads don't have to direct it to know like the workers level so everyone knows their responsibility of know how to minimize the waste so everyone knows how to work on this so there is no place for egos so managers never stop looking at the process it's a continuous process it doesn't mean no like for one particular uh, project you have implemented you have to leave everything as it is no it's a continuous product a process and it will become no it will over in, in over time it will become a uh, no like organization's culture so uh, like if you sometimes no in the industry no if you if you if you get to know about one particular company they would always say okay this and in this company no like it it maintains the work area in such a way that no like there is no a uh, play room for no like defects there is no room for wastages happening so they they know like uh, they follow the sustainability factor no to the maximum level so this a uh, good name no good name for the good will for the company no will increase the value of the company no in the industry level so there are no like five s in lean operation so everything is no like japanese in, in japanese first is seiri that means sorting out the problem straighten straighten it say so sweep and sanitize keep on no cleaning say it so standardize the procedures no make it as a standardization make it as a system everyone has to follow the system avoid waste avoid waste avoid waste then shitsuke sustain sustain is like stick on to this problem stick on to this no like factors stick on to the strategy so wherever the process is happening no stick on to this track so it has to be done by all the levels of no like uh, the workers the employees in the organization okay there is a comparison between no this lean six sigma lean and six sigma if you are combining lean and six sigma together you get no like more quality output in everything so lean it concentrates only on time minimizing the time that is the minimizing the lead time the market time that is no the time taken between the placement of the order and the delivery of the product delivery of the order that is the market time or the lead time so lean focuses on the time factor that is no like we avoid everything no which will uh, which can have become as a waste so that time is saved so that no process will happen as soon as possible six sigma focuses on defects so identify the defects identify the problems and resolve the problems then and there so if you combine that no like it's a primary metric so if you are following lean plus six sigma that is no like yeah someone yeah are you supposed to you know like speak something like if you have any questions fine okay so yeah that forms as a primary metric and then no like in lean following the lean strategy everyone in normal operating teams but six sigma well experts with project teams so in lean there is no group there is no like group formation there is no team formation each and every employee of the organization has the responsibility to follow the lean strategy but in six sigma 
everything is no like group originated so as a group they have to follow this as a group they have to know like uh, implement this so that's how now it works so when you are combining lean and six sigma together no in the organization so that will become a they will become a change agent so no they were they are coming something no with new concept so they are no like uh giving something no like uh, something new there is no they have changed something no which is no conventionally done in the past then empowerment so here lean gives empowerment to each and every employee in the organization that is each one feels no they are committed to this organization they are committed to this work they have the responsibility for the benefit of this organization and six sigma is no like top to down hierarchy so no like the project has to be led by the uh, team manager or the supervisor team leader and this team leader or manager would be led by the top management so they follow a hierarchy but when you combine together so it becomes a culture culture of the organization then lean follows no lean instructs no by learn by doing it is when when you start doing things no you slowly learn things no how to do it no like perfectly how to know minimize reduce the waste and everything and six sigma decisions are based on the data so combine everything there comes the underlying science Okay, this is a no like uh, again uh, uh, no a comparison of no between no like six sigma and lean thinking, and uh, there is another uh, added factor called theory of constraint. That is no like constraint drive based. So you can no like just go through it. This is not much important, but for no like for uh, uh, what do you say no for uh, overviewing purpose no like I have no like added this. Okay, then again. TPS uh, contribution to the uh, industry is uh, Muda Mura Muri. It may sound no like uh, uh, so funny, but Muda Mura Muri means no like in it's no like it's in Japanese. Okay, so Muda Muda is what no like uh, it's a useless and unprofitable acts or work which gives way to waste. There is no like unwanted chat during the work process. And uh, unwantedly, you no, know, like uh, employees, you no, know, like uh, getting, you no, know, like, uh, like uh, going out of the organization to have some refreshments and you no, know, like coming back, and you no, know, like uh, wasting the time or energy, you no, know, like useless acts, you no, know, like instead of you no, know, like contributing it to the work process. So all the useless and unprofitable acts of work, so that gives way to muda. so work that does not add any value to the product so these works these unwanted unprofitable acts it doesn't give any value to the product so they are no suggesting so avoid this muda so avoid no like wasting time and energy in no like doing unwanted things while you are at work then uh, this can be no apply to our personal life itself you know like uh, during no like on a daily basis no we keep on procrastinating no like many things we keep on postponing many things so we are not no like us we are not sticking on to no like finishing off the no like few things no on the very same day we keep on no like postponing it so instead no we are spending time more time on no like the social media or on the me at the tv channels or no like watching no like uh, boring movies no which doesn't interest us at all but we want no some kind of deviation no from the normal workflow so we know like wet our uh, uh, you know our mind and our time our energy you no know, something you no know, which is you no know, like which adds no value to our life so we can you no know, like practice this as well you no know, like even in our personal life. okay so then comes mura mura is uneven unbalanced work that is not which is not regular or uniform so imagine no from morning till afternoon you are working no you are giving your greatest effort you are no working hard and everything but from afternoon until evening you no know, like before you leave your organization no you are doing nothing or you have very less things to do that's unevenness so within the short span of time from morning to afternoon you are giving your maximum and you no know, like doing everything trying to you know complete a lot of things you no know, one at a time then your overall energy you know it gets drained and you no know, in the afternoon after you no know, like uh, from not till evening before you get out of your you no know, like office 
so you you do only very know like few things and know like by the time you reach home or by the time all the process is you know like ended you feel completely you know like drained out completely you know like tired so this is also you no know, like doesn't work at all so have an even work you know like you can you know like give time for you no know, you can set time for each and every professional work or personal work so fix a time so from this time to this time i'm going to work out on this so next no i'll have or two minutes break then from this time to this time no i'm going to work on this let me know for another two minutes let me know like get up from my chair and no like i can stretch out my limbs then no again no like i can work from no this time to this time then i can have no one glass of water so in this way you can no like plan your day to day professional work or personal work so that no you will have a uniform work from no like morning till you retire in that day so there is no like draining of energy for that particular time period and then no like uh, uh, to no like compensate that energy no like you will be doing no like something else you will be no like just relaxing going doing nothing no like so to avoid all this then you will be feeling so sorry or you will be feeling so guilty of not not doing for nothing no for 2 to 3 hours so to avoid this go for no even and balanced to work so murales variation in the operation of the process not caused by external factor so this is no you are doing it by yourself this is not caused by the external factors so again no the uh, tps uh, workers no they are suggesting avoid mura go for balanced even work okay then finally muri overburden on facility equipment and people so few people few employees you no know, like one among us or few you no know, many among us you no know, like what we do is so initially for you no know, quite some period we do nothing we don't take things seriously then at the last moment we you know like give maximum of our effort try to get all the resources you no know, like together and you no know, like try to you no know, give results you no know, within that specific time a few cases it works out in many cases you cannot complete the project or complete the process on time this is no like overburden so during that last minute work that bottleneck time no so you are stressing out too much you are no like draining out all your energy you are no becoming tensed and everything and no like things are not happening as planned for you so again no procrastination here no is no that that lets way to the muri so avoid this as well so work done forcibly and difficult to perform you don't have to do that you don't like to do that but you have no other choice because no you have wasted lot of time no like before that's why no you're forced to do that no at the last minute in a hurry and no like things things are becoming no like very confusing and chaos you are getting tensed you are getting health issues and everything so again no like they are uh, suggesting to avoid this muda mura muri so muda is avoid any useless and unprofitable acts of work acts of work which doesn't add any value to the product or any value to your profession or to your personal life and mura is something uh, which is no uneven or unbalanced work so don't follow this as well have a balanced to work system whether it's a professional work or a personal work have a balanced even working lifestyle then muri avoid overburdening so what you can do is plan in advance so if you have a you no know, like a timetable kind of a thing schedule your time you no know, like accordingly so that you no know, you finish the projects or finish your uh, professional or personal work on time so this is just a you no know, like illustrated example of you no know, like muda mura and muri so you know, little comical so muri is overburden we can see that with one vehicle you are trying to transport a maximum number of products so obviously either the machine break breaks down or no the products gets damaged so mura is something no which is fluctuation so one part of the, i mean one vehicle you are trying to add more uh, products no like and the other vehicle no like it just no like that, that doesn't have no any value at all that is no like uh, it has more space more time left out so where no like economy of scale is not met and muda is no like uh, uh wastage is happening no like for transporting no like six products no like unwantedly you are no like scheduling three vehicles transportation vehicles which is not necessary 
so this is the best uh, you know like uh, strategy to follow that is the optimum level so if if a, if a vehicle can hold a maximum of three containers of product go with two uh, vehicles which can carry six containers so and then comes the perch chart again no like a, a methodology or a strategy uh, perch stands for program evaluation review technique so this was developed by us navy and uh, this is for their own no like uh, submarine missile program so why this is used is again no it's a kind of a kanban system no kanban shows a list of no works to do what works has been done how many resources are available right now what is the work process and everything same applies to per chart as well. so it shows the overall work process so where to start when to start and what that leads to and from that point how things should get you no know, like diverted or pivoted and who should do that and uh, uh, then you no know, like then from again that point you no know, like uh, where the workflow should go on so what should be the end result so that is you no know, like um, illustrated as a uh, you know like a flow chart or a you no know, like a diagram so that is called you no know, perch chart that is program evaluation review technique and then is gantt chart uh this is no like again uh, formulated by henry l grant this is who is an american engineer and a social scientist as well so again this is kind of no like uh, analyzing how much work has been done it's a graphical representation of no like uh, a schedule that helps to plan coordinate track specific task in project how much they have reached as of now so if it is a production how much has we reached as of now if it is you no know, like uh, some other process transportation how much we have reached you no know, as a team as of now so this is again a graphical illustration and then finally okay so and then finally tqm so so tqm stands for total quality management this you guys would have you no know, like uh, 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 might have heard about it so let's have a quick review so it's a continual process of detecting and reducing or eliminating errors in manufacturing not just for one project not just for one department but for all departments all projects continuously doing the evaluation process so it streamlines the supply chain management so any business processes improves the customer experience and ensures the employees are up to speed with training that is if you combine all the techniques you know which we have discussed as of now starting from lean kanban kaizen and you no know, like the other techniques you no know, like till this muda mura muri if you combine everything that becomes a total quality management so all these techniques speaks about you no know, like uh, two or three factors again and again you no know, they uh, you know like enforces two to three factors the first one being that should be a continuous improvement and uh, the other one is no reduce the waste the third one is stick on to the quality so how to implement this tqm identify your company's existing culture its core values its systems and then create a system that will serve as your master plan so why to identify existing culture and core values because no like it shouldn't by implementing tqo or no the, the the very basis of the organization no which is the culture or whatever so that shouldn't be tampered so always no get suggestion from the top management on this then establish your what your customers and clients want and what they expect from your business and determine uh, how to best meet these expectations and needs then create a team of management and employees to guide and implement your goals so include efforts in your daily business management process again it's a team process and even individually it can be an individual process also but the company the organization has to make sure each and every person in the organization sticks on to this tqm sticks on to this total quality management and then consistently gather the feedback from employees and customers to gauge your process so it's a loop this is not the end process it's not a chain process but it's a network process it's a loop so after get the feedback from the employees again you're going for implementation of you know, the uh, new things uh, based on the feedback given by the employees so this is how the tqm functions 
so we have come to the end part of the you know this operations management uh, module so if you have any questions you can stay back for two minutes uh, otherwise no we will meet in the next session Okay, so we can meet in the next session. Have a great week. Bye.